John Prendergast. Let's give it up for Anjuna, one of the unsung heroes of the Darfur movement. Well, luckily for you, I'm not here tonight to sing or to dance. You don't know how fortunate you are that you don't have to see that. I'm here tonight at Mighty Mike because I've spent the last 25 years of my life in African war zones. I've learned something during those last 25 years in Africa. I've learned that genocide can be stopped. I've learned that wars can be resolved. We know what to do and we know how to do it. When a genocide was about to occur in 2003 in Northeast Congo, the world decided not on our watch and they intervened and stopped that genocide from happening. When terrible wars fueled by blood diamonds in Liberia and Sierra Leone unfolded during the 1990s and early part of this decade, the world said, not on our watch, and we intervened and we stopped those wars, we solved them. When South Africa was ruled by a racist apartheid government, which placed Nelson Mandela in prison, the world finally said, not on our watch, and we intervened, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, the, the, the laws that created this white supremacist government were torn down and, president, and Nelson Mandela was elected president. Now it is Darfur's turn to say, not on our watch. Darfur is not chaos. The government there is committing a genocide and it can be stopped. Right now, as we speak, we have three huge windows of opportunity that if open, we can help bring in genocide, the genocide in Darfur to an end. The first window is the upcoming Olympics. China is hosting those Olympics in August, and they want to present a new face of China to the rest of the world. We need to tell China very clearly that we aren't buying their new image as long as they're fueling genocide in Darfur and repressing people in Tibet. The second window of opportunity is the United States, is right here in the United States, the elections that are upcoming in November. We finally, after eight years, have a chance to throw the bums out. The good news is that the three remaining candidates all want to do much more on Sudan. Now, I like all three of them, but I'm gonna tell you, personally, I'm gonna be voting for Barack Obama. And if that ain't enough to get me to sing and dance, just watch out. <laughs> the third window of opportunity that we have right now that can help us bring an end to the genocide in Darfur is the most important one, and it's you. For the first time since the word genocide was invented, for the first time ever in the history of mankind, we have the beginnings of a mass movement of people committed to ending genocide. This has never happened before. So that's why I'm here tonight at Mighty Mike. I'm here to tell all of you to join the anti-genocide movement. It's easy in this internet age to join. It's easy, in fact, to fight genocide literally from your living room. Just join one of the organizations that's sponsoring this, this wonderful event. Join the Darfur Action Committee. Join the Genocide Intervention Network. Join STAND if you're from another school here. These are all groups that are working together, committed to bringing an end to the genocide, and they'll help you figure out how you can take advantage of your wonderful talents. Each one of you has something to contribute, how you might be able to contribute your talent to bringing an end to it. Look at the last couple of centuries at what has changed the history of the world. It has been people's movements. Look at the labor movement, the women's movement, the environment movement, the anti-slavery movement, the civil rights movement, the anti-apartheid movement. All of these movements have been part of world-changing events and world-changing efforts by ordinary people like us standing in this room today. Do not underestimate your collective power. I've worked 
I've worked in the White House, I've worked in the State Department, I've worked in Congress, I've worked in the United Nations, and I've seen it firsthand when large numbers of people organize themselves, come together, and demand change, change happens. We need to raise our voices for the people of Darfur. We need to raise our voices for the people who have been targeted by genocide all over the world during the last century, and we need to proclaim as loudly as we can, not on our watch. Thank you very, very much.